Hey guys, it's Rachel from the Little Re Reading Lamb, and of course, pen just rolled, I have my agenda, and for the title of this video, you guys know that I have a book review on Libba Bray's Beauty Queens, what I'm currently reading, and my next three, because they have changed. So, I upload, tried to upload this video yesterday, but it didn't seem to work on my computer, so I decided to refilm it, so, yeah. So, I'm already, like, when I introduce what I'm currently reading, I've already finished. So, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. So, if you're new to my channel, or you haven't seen any of my videos, um, I rate my books in five sections out of five. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading, again, five would be soonest, and one would be in, like, a year or so. So, let's get started with plot. Four out of five is what I gave it. I really like the plot. I thought the start was kind of confusing because it does follow about, I would like to say about nine different perspectives, but that's the thing I also loved. But at the beginning, I think because I was sort of in a reading slump, I didn't enjoy it as much, but it was a really good read. I loved um, the concept of it because it sort of reminded me of an old Disney show. I'm pretty sure it was Disney. It was Flight 29 Down Under and it had Corbin Blue in it. It sort of reminded me of that, but just with beauty queens which I love that show, so it was interesting to read a book sort of like on the premise where they had to survive with no adults, basically. Well, I think they had one adult in that show, but yeah. So, also the other thing I really liked was on the pages they have like, um, let me try that. Sorry, one second. Guys. They have like classified, um, and like a word from your sponsor, and then they have like Miss Teen Dream Get to Know the Contestant pages. And then they usually, once they have the contestant, they usually open up with them in their perspective. So that I found was really interesting. So characters in this book, I give a 5 out of 5. I really love the characters. Every one of the characters had something unique. Um, they all had problems. Like, they looked perfect. And the thing I liked about how Libba Bray did it was they all had deep problems, but they managed to get along for the most part. And the characters were very real. They had family problems, sexuality problems, home life problems, um, confidence problems, all that. And it really made the characters seem more real than just, uh, sorry if you hear noise in the background, the door just rang. Um, cover. So, I give the cover a 5 out of 5. I really love, especially love, the, like, ammo with the lips lipstick. I love that. And they're like all different colors, which is kind of neat because you don't notice that right away. And I like how the girl's not prim and proper. She, you can tell her hair is not like falling out of curls or something. And she has some sand on her, like on her arm. Like she's not like prim and proper. And like the sash, because they all wear their sashes in the book. Tracing that wrong. Sorry. Um, looks backwards on my webcam to me. And yeah, I really like the cover. Suspense, I give a 4 out of 5. At the last 170-ish pages, were so tense, like, to find out what's going to happen. And it was unexpected what happened, and I was really caught off guard. Like, I'm probably the worst at guessing predictable stuff, so I'm not going to say for everybody, because most people would probably be able to say it was predictable, but I thought it was really good how it was executed. Overall, in terms of reading it, I give a 5 out of 5, which is very rare for me, because, you know, some usually it's 4 out of 5 or 3 out of 5. A 5 out of 5, I'd read this next week again. It was just so good, and I really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys pick up A Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. It was a great summer read. Any time of the year, really read. Whenever you feel in the mood for Beauty Queen. <sighs> so, that was my book review. And now what I'm currently reading, well, yesterday I finished this. So I'll just say, so yesterday when I was filming this video, I, yesterday I was currently reading... The It Girl by Cecilia Von Zygazar. I'm not sure if that's right. Sorry. Um, I was supposed to read Jurassic Park. That was my next three. But I decided to skip it. Maybe leave it for later in the year. Maybe September or something. Because it's kind of a heavier read. And I didn't feel in the mood for dinosaurs. I felt in the mood for boarding school life. <sighs> Summer. It's getting to me. Um, but yesterday, I was on 228 out of 264 pages. And that was just the afternoon, so I was finished that long before. This was published in November of 2005, and it's the first in a 10-book series, which is just, I think, the It Girl series. It doesn't really have, like, a saga name. Okay, so my next three, considering from yesterday, are...
Notorious by Cecilie von Zygesara, which is the second. The third, Reckless. And the fourth, Unforgettable. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope my review is helpful, and I think you guys should pick up, or at least consider picking up, um, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray, really good book, and I appreciate any comments. I love to read what you guys have to say. It's really helpful, and also, if you guys want to send me the links to your channels, I'd love to watch them, because I love watching, like, book-related videos. Okay, so thanks, guys, for watching, and bye.